<laughs> what a silly question. Of course I am. I'm Mrs. Julian Crane. I have everything any woman could ever ask for. Do you have love? Oh, really, Ethan? No, Mother, do you have love? I have four children, don't I? It's not an answer. I talked to the PR people in Boston. They'll keep Sheridan's accident out of the papers. And if she dies, are you going to try to keep that out of the papers, too? Really, Ethan? I want to make sure that the police keep a lookout for any out-of-town press. I'll call Sam Bennett. It says here the Bennetts have been in harmony for hundreds of years. That's right. Almost from the very beginning of harmony. And that grandfather was an important businessman and landowner, but then he lost everything. Why, Daddy? Well, Jessica, um, depression came along, and the grandfather had to sell his land and his businesses. Who bought everything? The Cranes. Um, they took our land. Bennett residence. Sam, Julian Crane. Mr. Crane, what can I do for you? Well, first, uh, let me congratulate you on your, your new position as chief of police. You know, I was one of your biggest supporters when your name came up at the town council meeting. Thank you. Your wife must be very proud of you. How is... Grace is very well, thank you. me. I have a message for you, Grace. Just leave me alone. <laughs> what kind of game are you playing with me? It's not a game, Grace. It's very serious. Important things are about to happen here in Harmony. Things are happening elsewhere, too. But all leading up to a very momentous event here in Harmony. How does it concern me? Because of who you are. But I don't know who I am. So how can I be of importance to whatever you say is going to happen? There's great evil at work, Grace. As a matter of fact, evil's coming towards us right now. You must be on your guard. Your soul and all of the souls of who you love are at stake. Sam! Help me, Sam! really good, Mama. Mm -hmm. Miguel, help me make it. Really? I could never make it this good, Miguel. You're a much better cook than me. Don't even try to talk me into cooking for you next time it's your turn, <laughs> Teresa. <laughs> Would I do that? <laughs> Louise, you're awfully quiet. I talked to Mr. Jenkins down at the bank this afternoon. We're not late with our mortgage again, are we? No. Uh, but I did talk to him about the mortgage. The interest rate you have on the house right now is very high. If you get a new mortgage, you can get a much lower rate and save money every month. Put away savings for a retirement fund. 